Hello everyone, here is a question from exercise 2.2, 8th one, chapter is fraction decimal of class 7. The question is, we have a two questions here A and B and for each question again we have a two questions to solve. The first one is, provide the number in the box here such that 2 by 3 multiplied by that number we're going to give you 10 upon 30. So let us solve the first one, this is 8th question, okay, this is first question, first bit. So with 2 by 3, what we should multiply here to get 10 upon 30? Now obviously we're going to multiply here with a fraction, right? It's not a whole number because here also we have a fraction 10 upon 30. Now think, the 2 has become 10. So obviously multiplying. So with 2, what we should multiply to get 10? It's a 2 5s are 10. So in the numerator, we're going to get 5. Similarly, this 3 became 30. So with 3, what you should multiply to get 30? It is 10, right? 3 tens are 30. So we'll get here 10, right? So number here is 5 upon 10. It's a very simple question. This is how we can check the answer. So in the first box, we'll get 5 upon 10. Now second question. The simplest form of the number obtained in the dash is... So this dash is nothing but this block. In the first question, the answer was 5 by 10. So they're talking about the 5 by 10 here. What is its simplest form? So let me write down what is 5 by 10. Now what do you mean by simplest form? Simplest form means we have to cancel the number, bring it to the lowest form. Now every number cannot be cancelled. If possible, we have to cancel. So you can see 5 and 10, it can be cancelled. We can cancel this in a 5 table, right? We can bring it to the simplest form. So we're going to cancel this. 5 ones are 5 twos are 10. Now here we got 1 upon 2. 1 upon 2, can we cancel it further? No, we cannot cancel it further. This is a reduced form or the lowest form. So here in this box, uh, so they are asking the smallest form of a number obtained in this box. In this box, we got 5 by 10. Its simplest form is 1 by 2. So that was the first question. Now let's move on to the second one. Second question, the first, first bit. Provide the number in the box here such that 3 by 5 multiplied by that number we're going to give you 24 upon 75. It's same like a first question. So we have a 3 by 5. So to this 3 by 5 what we should multiply here to get 24 upon 75. So now again think of a number. So with, five, with 3 what you should multiply to get 24. So in 3 table you know that 3 8s are 24. So here in the numerator we'll get 8. Right? Similarly, with 5, what you should multiply to get 75? So 5, 15 is 75. In case you don't know, you can divide 75 by 5. So 5 ones are 5. 2 is a remainder. Drop this 5. So 5, 5 is a 25. You got the remainder 0. So 15. So 5, 15 is 75. So 8 by 5 is the answer for the first one. Now, the second question. Second question is similar to the first one. The simplest form of the number obtained in the box. In the box, we got 8 upon 15. So, we have to bring it to the lowest form. So, this is the second question. Lowest form or the simplest form, they both are same. So, 8 upon 15. Now, can you think of a number which can cancel both 8 and 15? There is no such number because we don't have a common factor. We cannot cancel 8 and 15. This itself is a simplest form. So answer for the second question is 8 upon 15 itself because we cannot reduce it further. So that's it. This is the eighth question. I hope it's clear. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.